As with all projects you work on, it's important to break down what needs to be done into small manageable chunks. Creating publications in Scribus is no different. If you're creating book layouts, magazine spreads, business documents, or anything else you can think of, it might be more realistic to work on specific sections of your overall document one at a time or possibly even delegate sections to individuals in a team. Working in this manner could result in a collection of different Scribus documents. In this video, we'll be reviewing the page import feature so that we can tie pages from completely different Scribus projects into a single document, merging everything together. So let's get started. Welcome to class. Working in a team in Scribus presents a number of considerations you should take into account. These considerations may include consistencies between page dimensions, margins and bleeds, color management, styles and themes. There are a number of ways you can address each when working with a team, but the quickest will likely be to create a template project to be shared amongst the team members. Individual documents may need to have all of its resources packaged together before you start merging pages. This can be accomplished in Scribus from the standard menu by selecting File and then Collect for Output, which will open a window that will prompt you to provide a destination on your computer to save the Scribus document and all the referenced assets. You'll need to select a location on your computer to save the documents and select OK. Once we've addressed all the considerations through verbal or written instructions or have gone through the process of creating a template and disseminating it to the members of our team, we'll need to wait for the members to complete their sections of the publication. For demonstration purposes, we'll have each of our team members package their portion of the publication and store the artifacts in a shared location so that we have access to each person's completed works. We will then go through the process of creating a new publication in Scribus, following the same guidelines or template used by the other members of the team and start the process of merging the documents together into one. From the standard menu, we'll select Page and then Import. An Import Pages modal will appear. We'll then click on Select and navigate to the first Scribus document we'd like to import. We'll leave the Import Pages section as a star character, indicating all pages are to be imported, and then check Create Pages and set the value to Before Page, and then we'll select Import. We should now see all of the imported pages. After importing pages, be sure to check each page as you may need to make adjustments and even relink text frames. Now we can remove the blank page at the end of our document and repeat the steps for the remaining documents we'd like to import pages from. So let's go through the steps one more time. From the standard menu, we'll select Page and then Import. An Import Pages modal will appear. We'll then click on Select and then navigate to the next Scribus document. We'll leave the Import Pages section as a star character indicating all pages are to be imported. And then check Create Pages and this time we'll set the value to At End. And then we'll select Import. And once again we should now see all of the imported pages. Continue to repeat these steps for the remaining documents you need to import. You can even adjust the settings before importing if you would like to import specific pages instead of all the pages. Try out modifying the different page import settings to get a better understanding as to how this feature can help you work better independently or in a team. In this video, we discuss merging pages from separate Scribus documents into a single document 
so that you can work on smaller, more manageable tasks or disseminate the workload amongst a team of individuals. If this video helped you or you would like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.